This is an Onkyo TX NR5007, uh, which is a giant home theatre receiver with more channels than you can count and more kilograms to go along. Uh, it belongs to a co-worker and uh, apparently it's got this uh, all too common Onkyo issue where you just don't get any sound anywhere, even though the unit seems to be operating normally. Uh, so usually this means that there's a bad BGA on uh, one of the boards in the unit but sometimes you can get away with just doing a factory reset so let's just start with that and that does not seem to have fixed the issue so now we're gonna have to have take this thing apart and have a dig around and off comes the cover And if we just have a quick look at the unit before we get into any repairs, it certainly does look like a quite competent amplifier. We've got no less than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine amplifier boards with a quite proper heatsink and big toroidal transformer to go with it. And this thing, this transformer is almost uh, on par with the one you get in the Yamaha P2200 series. That's mighty impressive. The power, power rating for this thing must be up towards a kilowatt under full load. Also, two little tiny transformers, probably for the preamp stages. I don't think the issue is going to be anywhere in here because this guy is usually the one who causes all of these issues on every Onkyo of this kind of generation ever. I've never seen a power supply problem, I've never seen a power amplifier problem, I've never seen a logic problem or anything except for people having ripped off the HDMI connectors of the board and this guy having bad solder joints and perhaps one actually having a bad chip. So I'm just going to be crude about it, go from experience and resolder this thing first thing I do. And if you're curious, the chip is labelled Q3001 and it's a, a Texas Instruments TMSD830K011A ZKB. YFA9983ZLW and it's clearly some kind of decoding chip since it's got the DTS and Dolby logos on it. And the chip's cooled down now, so let's give it a go and see if we've done the Onkyo magic trick again. Yep, entirely as expected. So, now all I've got to do is make a heat sink on that guy so that it doesn't happen again and send this guy on his way. Sweet! And while we have the opportunity, here's a bit of a close look at the power amplifier sections. Very tidy, very high quality. Probably bias pots on the top there. And the main output devices are labelled TTA Fripple uh, 2 and TTA Fripple 3 made by Toshiba, one per rail per channel. And uh, all brand name caps, of course. The main two seem to be uh, Chemicon branded 75 volts, uh, 22 fans, and microfarads. So this is going to run on something like a plus minus 60 volt supply. It probably has some kind of supply switching integrator given the number of relays down there and uh, how you can select the speaker impedance of the menu. And there you have it, a cheap fix for an expensive piece of kit. And now my co-worker can enjoy his probably multi-thousand dollar stereo for a couple more years. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.